So the next fight coming up is Guard Armor. Uh, this route that I'm using gets to level 7 before Guard Armor by killing a soldier. So if you don't do combos on Dark Side 1's head and kill a soldier uh, before the Guard Armor fight, then you won't actually hit level 7 and you'll have one less strength than this file does. It's not too much of a difference, it really just makes the fight a little more consistent depending on which RNG, uh, or regardless of which RNG he gives you at the beginning. Um, but all in all, it's not too much different of a fight. I'm not 100% sure if this save file has killed a, uh, a soldier yet or not, so I'm gonna go ahead and open my menu and check my experience real quick. Uh, which is this, and I am 24 away. I'm actually not certain. I'm gonna go ahead and kill one. It's not too big a deal. Oh yeah, I actually I was fine. I had already killed one, but it doesn't matter too much. So the main trick with guard armor is that you want to avoid his lunge attack, where he throws his body and all of his pieces at you. Um, you want to avoid him doing that twice. That means that you got a good fight, usually. If he does it twice, then um, when you break all those pieces afterwards, he'll do this kind of little dance move. That'll take about 10 seconds or so. So it's much, much better to be able to avoid that. Uh, whoops. Gonna go ahead and quickly take care of the soldiers first. Soldiers are all about just doing quick two-hit combos. I usually kill the first one and then I start mashing triangle. Sometimes I do ground combos if I think that I'll have an easier time hitting multiple enemies that way. Um, Donald can use fire and one-shot them, but sometimes he doesn't like to. So here we go. I'm gonna mainly do full combos. I want to make sure I deflect that opening attack. It's really important. And after that, I like to target the uh, the foot. Guard armor's left foot. Anytime he does that throw move where he, he jumps up and he's going to throw his pieces at me, I uh, specifically jump and then swing once to parry it like that. So I had him throw his, all of his pieces at me twice, which means he's going to do this little dance move here. Yeah, that thing right there. That wastes some time. He's invulnerable during this stage because his health is already too low and he's uh, switching. Right about there is when you can start attacking and one combo will finish him off. If you also notice, I threw my potion while I was waiting for him to become vulnerable again. Uh, that's mainly just to get it out of my inventory. So yeah, that's the guard armor fight. Again, that wasn't a perfect fight. Ideally, he would not lunge himself at you twice. He would be able to finish off all his pieces before that. I got a little bit bad RNG. He can start off the fight either standing a step or two away from you, or standing right on top of you. You want him to be a little bit further away from you, but I still should have been able to do it. I, you saw that I used a couple of ground combos. Not, not a perfect fight by any means, but still.